Amy Jo Hannigan. Okay. Yeah. And with the ACFO. Uh, ACFO? Yeah. Okay. Your ACFO Press? Um, today I'm ACFO Press. Some days I'm ACFO Technology. Some days I'm ACFO Communication. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a constantly changing role. Okay. And yeah. when did you join ACFO? Was it? Um, I'm a recent member of ACFO, kind of working on a project for them. Yeah. That just came about like What's three it weeks about? ago. It's about, I'm really interested in, um, so we have all this great content, right? Yeah. And the content all kind of lives online, but what do we do with that content afterwards? And how do we create links to that yeah. content? So I'm really interested in how we create products and different kind of communication that lets us do the, the content. So currently I'm interested in QR codes, which are like barcodes, yeah. which with your mobile phone you can take a picture and then it'll launch a video. So yeah. what if we started putting these QR codes on different tags and leaving the places and people are now launching video from the water queue yeah. uh, as they go through their yeah. daily lives. Yeah. Okay. So that's like one project I'm, I'm interested in. <laughs> okay, maybe yeah. it's something we can talk about more. Do you think, yeah. I mean, is, is, it, is it something that would be applicable in a country or in a place where you, you have uh, bad internet access? I, yeah, because actually um, I think it's interesting because it's run on mobile instead of internet access. And so mobile communication lines are much more prevalent in emerging markets than actual internet access. But the videos will presumably go on the data networks, so maybe which then is, which, I mean, my, in my own experience, for example, sure. in Ghana, mm -hmm. the, the data is very expensive. E because it's linked to international internet access, not just local networks. Yes. So. There are, um, yeah, this is probably more of a question for Mark, but we are trying yeah. to think about how people um, take video in different kind of capacities that's lower weight, yeah. like how does mobile video happen? What does it mean to yeah. be capturing it that way? But um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I'm interested in how you get video there, but also how, what we do with the content that we've generated here where we do have internet access and how we spread content. What, one, uh, just to add, I mean, one way I've found that people do use uh, videos, or, or MP3s, let's say, as an example, is like a band might make a song and then they'll produce an MP3 and give it to other people via Bluetooth. Yeah. So it avoids the whole internet access problem. But would there be a way of kind of yeah, I don't know. Having sort of like a distributed network of videos, like yeah, right, and 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 then you know still use these codes. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think there's like a lot of possibilities. I think for me, um, I think it's like a really interesting area to explore. Just in yeah. general, we're creating all this content, yeah. and we have content, and it lives online. But can it live other places? Or um, yeah. you know, how do we make those connections? Yeah. So yeah. Let's talk about it some more. Let's talk about it some more. <laughs>